Hey there, Foxy Gamers! Welcome back to Stardew Valley! I decided, after a good point out from somebody last video, that we're not exactly going to be going back to the Skull Caverns until we have a gold pickaxe. That's just going to make our life a little bit easier. So, at this point... Ooh. Although this is tempting, because... We get a whole bunch of gold from getting levels 25 levels down in the Skull Cavern. But we're going to need to wait until we have a lot more stone, a lot more bombs, and probably a gold pickaxe, which we need 10,000 gold monies for that, along with four gold bars. So it might be a little bit, probably not this episode, um, going back down into the Skull Cavern, but that's okay. There's plenty of other stuff we can be doing, like getting our community center taken care of. For the moment, I will just make sure we harvest all of the crops that are ready. Okay, we are running out of inventory space real fast here, so I'm gonna go ahead and make us another chest, but... Let's see, we need to drop off some things first. Oh my gosh. All sorts of disorganized right now. So we'll make a chest. What do we have here? All right, so the pink chest is our gift slash community center stuff that we have going on here. Speaking of gifts, I should take a look and see whose birthday is coming up next. Well, it looks like we just missed Alex's birthday, but that's okay. We don't really care about Alex that much. He's kind of a dick. I don't want to be his friend anyway. Sam, however, is coming up on the 17th. He's still not the greatest, but I like him better than Alex. So what does Sam like? Ooh, he likes cactus fruit. That's a love for him. We could do that. Um, that's the only thing we have for him that is love. Otherwise, we can give him all the, any of the universal likes. Oh, except he doesn't like pickles and vegetables. So we can't give him any of that either. So picky. Okay, well, we might just make another trip to the desert uh, tomorrow or the 17th. Probably tomorrow, because otherwise I'll forget about it if I do this in the next video. And we'll make sure to get some cactus fruit for him. Uh, Linus loves coconuts, so I'm going to hang on to those. And Linus also loves the cactus fruit, so we'll definitely want to be giving him some of that. Now... Okay... So this is all just kind of jumbled here. I'm going to give us a fish box right here. We'll make that blue so we can keep track. How about the light blue? And now anything that has to do with coming from the lakes or ocean or whatever will just go in this box, which is nothing from there. Oh, maybe the bait. The bait should probably go in there. Oops, not that one. And I'm going to save the the snails and anything that is worth less than 75 gold. So snails, at some point, we will be able to make escargot. And that will not only give us some food to eat, but potentially give us a little more cash than just dumping the snails in the bin. The only one I think I want to dump in the bin for now are the crayfish, because those actually sell for more than sashimi, but periwinkle we can turn into sashimi because this only sells for like 22 gold a piece or something. It's really pathetic. Uh, but let's see here. I don't think we really need to hang on to that many sweet peas, but I do want to turn some of these into wild seeds because I would like to get our foraging up to seven. Once we get... I think it's level 7, we can then actually make tree fertilizer that will help our wild trees grow quicker, which really is useful when it comes to trying to get a lot of wood for things. So we'll go ahead and make one of those. 
Maybe we'll do two because we have some sprinklers that got freed up. Um, we're gonna drop off this other one for sale. Meow. Uh, let's see, another wild seeds, there we go. And might need to pick up our hoe if I, oh no, I do have it, okay, cool. So that way we can just plop these down here. I don't know why I tilled that over there. I should probably pick up some more seeds, to be honest. And maybe I should have done more hops, considering hops are, like, the best thing that we can put in kegs. But I totally dropped the ball on that one. How many did I get? I only got 16 hops. Hmm. If I get more now, though, they're not really going to have time to grow to full maturity and become worth it. So I might just get something else, like... Some more melons. Is that good? We have 13 days left. I think I did a really poor job of planning this season. But, yeah, well, that's what I get. That's what I get for not paying attention to this kind of stuff. Okay. I can do some reorganizing of stuff in my chest real quick and jump back to you all in a second here. Okay, so here's how everything is looking for right now. In our green chest here, we've got all of our produce and plants, and this is where we could put seeds if we wanted, but we don't really have any seeds right now, like mixed seeds or something. Blue one is anything and everything to do with the ocean, which includes trash that I'll be putting in my recycling machines. This box here is kind of miscellaneous tools, reagents, and bars for all of our metals here. And then this pink one is where I'm keeping things that we'll use for gifts or stuff that we need to turn into the community center. So that's what that is for now. Uh, let's see, this green bean, do I need this? Now here's a cool trick that you can do if you're not sure if something needs to be used for a community center, you can put it in your inventory. So say this uh, rabbit's foot. I know we're going to need this for the community center. And you see, if I'm not sure, like, oh, have I turned in the green bean yet? And you can see our little icon over here. If I hover over that, nothing happens. But if I hover over the rabbit's foot, then it's actually blinking because that means there's a bundle that I need to turn that in to. That is a really cool feature that I didn't even know existed until very recently, and I completely discovered it by accident, so I figured maybe I could help you guys out by pointing that out to you. Uh, let's see, we'll put our green bean back in here, because we'll probably just turn that into a pickled green bean or something at some point. And... Yeah, I think that's going to do it for our tidying up. Whoops, I just totally wasted energy. Thank goodness I didn't actually hack anything there. So, yeah, I think it might be a good time to make it a goal for us to start raising some animals so that we can get some animal products for our community center bundles. Along with, did we get all of our hay? Yeah, okay, so it seems like our silo is full. Uh, and, you know, we can get some baby chickens and start raising them so that they'll get happy and give us the big eggs that we need. Which means we're going to need some more wood. We need 300 wood, 100 stone, and 4,000 gold. I don't want to just buy wood off of Robin because that's a pretty big waste right now. Oh, also, shoot, that's right. We're going to want 10,000 gold in order to upgrade our steel pickaxe. So it might, might actually be a little bit before we're able to do all the stuff I want to do because there's so many things to do, guys. But for now, I'm just going to chop down a bunch of wood and... 
perhaps clear an area that we can put a chicken coop in. Also, since we are fairly close to getting level 7 and foraging, I don't need to be terribly worried about chopping down too many of these trees because that fertilizer is actually very effective and I'm definitely looking forward to having some of that. So for now, I'm just going to chop down whatever trees are kind of in my way and at some point we're going to make ourselves a little pine tree farm and maple tree farm so that we can start getting some uh, maple syrup. In fact, oh my gosh, I need to make a freaking checklist for all of these things that we have to do, guys, because I do want to get some maple syrup so that we can make some uh, honey, honey hives, bee houses. So we're going to need a lot more wood than I thought. We'll see how far we can get with all this chopping down. Okay, we got enough wood to go have a coop built and cleared out a space there. So we're gonna do that. And then if we want some more wood for getting ourselves some tappers, we can do that after we go visit Robin. But I wanna try and make sure we get there before she closes. I also realized I kinda went a little bit overkill on all of the tree planting for Right, whoa, why is Abigail on the move? Jeez. Whoa. I've never seen her run that fast before. Holy cow. I wonder if something was blocking her from getting to where she needed to go. That's weird. Yeah, anyway. I planted too many trees. We don't need that many because we're... It's gonna take a lot to keep up with all of the sap that we're gonna get. Okay, so... How about, all right, construct farm buildings. Oh my God, did I, I can't believe I forgot my stone. Oh crap. Are we gonna have enough time? I can't remember if she's open till four or five o'clock. I'm sure you guys were sitting there yelling at me again because you realized that I didn't bring the stone with me. That is my bad. Okay, I'm gonna run back and get that real quick. Well, fortunately, she is still open till 5 o'clock, so we are in luck, guys. Okay, now we can make ourselves a coop. And we're just gonna plop this down. I guess we can't do it right where I was hoping, because for whatever reason... I don't know if there's an event that happens or why we can't build in this entire area. Weird. Alright, well, anyway... I'm just gonna put this as close to the red area as I can and leave one space in between just so that we can walk between that and our greenhouse. Alrighty, that's that, thank you Robin. And I remember to pick up a coconut to give to Linus so that we can be friends. Here you go Linus. Yay, he's so happy. I'm so glad I made your day special. I saw a heron wading gracefully through the morning mist. Such are the treasures of a quiet life. That is pretty beautiful. I will admit it. I definitely enjoy seeing things like that when I'm out in nature. Okay, we're just gonna pop up here and take advantage of these trees that are growing here. We can also plant trees up here, which actually isn't a bad idea. I might come back here with some... Uh, some pine cones or something, or maybe just plant the ones I have in my inventory and let them start growing so that maybe by the time we need some more wood, there will be some here. Uh, but yeah, I think the rest of the day is just gonna be spent trying to get enough wood so that we can make some tappers for our farm. All right, we got ourselves a few little things here that we can make some cash from. Our wonderful crystallarium made us a diamond, got a couple pickled tomatoes, some stuff we gathered. Not a crazy amount of anything right now. Let's see, our, did our kegs finish? There's a pale ale for us. Uh, also got another oak resin, so we could get another keg going. 
How about we do that? I'm just gonna sell some of this stuff for now because I sort of need the gold. And yeah, I want to be able to <clears throat> upgrade our pickaxe as soon as possible. So instead of hoarding all this stuff like I've been doing, I'm going to drop some of it off. Otherwise, it's just going to take us forever to get everything we need. What all could we sell here? Um, oh, wow. Okay, we have five oak resin and a bit of pine and maple syrup. I guess it's been a while since I've played, so I kind of forgot what we ha had here. We do have a few things that we can make some stuff with, but do we have enough wood? That is the question, Keg. We need copper, iron, oak, resin, and wood. All right, we have just enough to make two kegs. Nope, okay. I need to actually get the oak resin in my inventory. There we go. And grab some hops. Throw that in there, and it is time to go to bed. Let's see here. We are running out of space in our house. AKA our brewery. We'll have to either get a house upgrade or a shed sometime soon. Probably a house upgrade, because I'd really like to be able to uh, cook some food pretty soon. All right, one last double check here. Most of the stuff I don't actually want to sell at this point. Yeah, I think that's all I want to do for now. That'll give us a little bit of cash, but it's going to probably be some time before we get 10,000 gold to upgrade our pickaxe. Unless we go fishing, maybe we should do that. We'll see if we can get some good money fishing. Okay. Oh, man. I forgot that we actually had some more foraging stuff planted here, too, so that's a good deal. We <laughs> still got a little ways to go yet, though, and I don't think that stuff actually gives us all that much skill. But, you know, we could just keep doing this forever since it takes zero maintenance to actually keep this stuff planted, aside from harvesting it and maybe hoeing the ground if I don't have any spots left like it did today. Let's see. Do we have enough for making a wild seeds pack? Yes, we do. There we go. And I'll throw these higher quality grapes in the bin there. I also don't think we need this many sweet peas, do we? Yeah, we'll just go ahead and check those in there, too. Alright, I will quickly do all of our farming duties. Alright, everything is good to go here. Maybe we'll dump some stuff in our recycling machines in hopes that it'll give us either coal wood or refined quartz so that we don't have to use any of those. Let's see what fish we need here for the community center. We still need a tiger trout, which if I recall correctly is only while it's raining, so we're not going to be able to get that for a bit. Walleye, I believe, is also while it's raining. And the eel, is that right? I can't actually remember off the top of my head these guys we could get from the crab, crab pots on the beach or else maybe foraging some of this I know I have a clam somewhere I guess I could also use that sandfish from the desert would skip from the secret forest and sardine that is not gonna roll around again until fall I believe yeah, so I think for now, while we wait for our crops to go and our kegs to produce and all that good stuff, we're going to head back over to the ocean because 
I feel that in the summertime, the ocean is actually the best place for making money from fishing. Uh, we don't have an upgraded fishing pole yet, so we'll have to live without our bait for now. Oh, did I forget to put bait in these pots here? I guess we only have three of them, but nope, nope, looks like we're good. Okay, so I'm gonna go drop some stuff off at the mines, because I'd rather just keep these ores at the mines. And then we'll head over to the ocean for some fishing and see how successful we can be today. We have 5,000 gold. We need 10,000 total to upgrade our pickaxe to a gold pickaxe. So I have a pretty good feeling about that. We should be okay. That shouldn't take us too long. And I totally forgot that we have parsnips in here. We could also turn those into pickled parsnips. Okay, away to the beach we go. Hopefully there will be some forageables that spawn for us. I'd really like to start collecting both clams and corals for future things that we're going to want to craft. And I keep forgetting that I should bring my hoe with me so that we can actually grab all those little wormy worms. Wow, look at all this stuff here. All right. I'll take it. Yes, siree. So much coral. The sea urchins, the only point of that is, as you can see, the community center button blinking. There will be one and only one of those that we turn in to the friendship tab with Emily. So we'll save one of those, but otherwise, as far as I know, the only useful purpose of the sea urchins is to vendor them, basically. So that's what we're gonna do. Hello, Willy. I don't really have anything I can gift you right now, but how would you like this wonderful sea urchin? Yeah, look at that, 240 gold for just one of those. It's really tempting for me to sell this coral too, but I think I'm gonna wait on that for now until we have enough regular corals and silver corals that I won't need anymore. I'm just gonna keep that, but we are gonna buy we're just gonna do two trout soups because some of the fish are a little more difficult out here. I'm not even gonna bother going for these bubbles right here because it's so close to shore. Oh, well, it's gone anyway. But yeah, it was gonna be so close to shore that it wasn't gonna be worth sacrificing the high quality fish that we catch. Anyway, octopus do happen to spawn. Oh no, no, I want the chest. Uh, they do spawn in the summer, and it's a very good thing to sell, but I find that octopus are actually even more difficult to catch than some of the legendary fish, and it's just not even going to be possible for me to catch one without an upgraded fishing rod and a trap bobber. But we can still catch things like puffer fish and flounder and hopefully some super cucumbers along with just all the other basic fish that sell really, really well in the summertime. It's, I definitely feel like it's the best spot to fish as far as money goes in the summer. All right, that was a pretty successful day of fishing, it seems. I already sold some of my fish just to kind of see how we were doing. And uh, yeah, between a couple of these super cucumbers as well as all these lovely halibuts we caught today, we should be doing just fine. I'm gonna hang on to the tuna for now because there is a pretty good recipe that we get later on, um, I think from Gus or something, that I would like to be able to make if we manage to get all the ingredients. I guess since we have 11 of these coral right now, I'm also gonna go ahead and sell the two gold ones that I picked up. Plop off our sea urchin for turning into the community center. The rubies, I'm gonna hang on to them for now because I realized that over in the desert, we can actually use these to buy 
spicy eels, which are quite good. And like the next best thing is to buy salads from Gus, from Gus, which isn't quite as good as the spicy eel. It doesn't give you any buffs and it still costs you 200 gold to buy those. So since rubies only sell for 250, it's potentially better to hang on to them to trade them for spicy eel. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, and we got an extra rusty spoon here, so I'm just going to drop that off along with that skeletal tail. And that'll do it. One other thing with the driftwood, I'm actually going to stockpile that stuff until winter rolls around because then we can buy these machines from Robin, the wood chippers. And that will actually turn driftwood into useful wood, like a, a pretty good amount. So we'll hang on to that for now, but put everything else in the recycling machines that we come upon. Okay, I think we are good for today. Oh, let's check and see if our hops have finished. A few hops have, so we can sell those pale ales. And make sure to push ourselves over the edge with getting to that ten, uh, comfy 10k. Should have no problem getting ourselves a pickaxe upgrade, though, between all that fish and the pale ale. Alright, so that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. And until next time, stay foxy.